system, and I'm confident that Lee Farms Food Stuff Company, that we today are going to lay the groundwork for, will be able to meet all of its aspirations. What will the company do, you may ask? Well, it will produce tomato paste, something we know very well we like in Ghana and beyond. Spices and other condiments for the Ghanaian and the further afield. The project, our two major shareholders are Ghana Rice Food Company Limited and Changjin Limin Condiments Company Limited, who are jointly investing a capital of about $3 million to this project to produce, as we said, tinned tomatoes. The company, as so far explained, will work closely with the district implementation support team led by the DC and the MP with the viewpoint of ensuring that the transition, the process, is smooth. We provide all the government support that's necessary to ensure that this factory attains its objectives. I am told that it will employ 140 people directly and by the time it is completed, it will employ directly over 500 people on this site. So we have at least 140 people that will get a job here and up to 500 within the period specified. One of the areas that when we met, when my Honorable Minister Alan Shumanteng went met with the team on Tuesday, that we stressed on, and we were so pleased the company had even thought about it, was the importance of ensuring that we get as much raw materials into this factory, i.e. the tomatoes and other spices from Ghanaian farmers. That is where the value chain becomes real. What excited us even more is that Lee Found and some of its group are already engaged in plantations back in China, where they're based. And they have no doubt that their journey is to ensure that we get as much locally produced source raw materials as possible, which then further extends the opportunity. To look forward with all due haste and anticipation that in December of this year, when the first cans made in Ghana are coming off the production line, His Excellency, our President, will be the one to see it coming to life and conventionally. Thank you very much, all the distinguished guests, for doing us this honor. Thank you very much.